my name is Hermano Igo Krebs. Uh, I'm at MIT Mechanical Engineering Department at the Newman Laboratory for Biomechanics and Human Rehabilitation. Um, I have been working in this space of rehabilitation robotics since the inception. Uh, we started developing robots for rehabilitation in 1989. And you have like to perceive this as like an extension of our understanding of brain plasticity. Until we understood that the brain was plastic, perhaps there wasn't so much space for rehabilitation robotics. Uh, there was, of course, space for assistive technology, but not rehabilitation robotics. Once we understood that the brain was plastic, it created an opportunity for us to create tools, tools to help the clinician deliver better quality of therapy. And that's what we have been developing for the last 21 years uh, here at the Burke Rehabilitation Hospital. Uh, where we started the deployment of the first robot of this class, the MIT Manus, um, uh, which, by the way, Manus means hand, so it's part of the MIT motto, men's and Manus, mind and hand. Uh, so we deployed the first robot, uh, the MIT Manus, here, and we have conducted studies probably with over 800 stroke patients so far in this 21 years, seeing that by using this type of tool, we can get a better outcomes and promote better recovery of stroke patients. Of course, the technology can also be used for other groups of patients, for example, children with cerebral palsy, uh, people with traumatic brain injury. And so we begin that this is just a beginning. And with the aging of the population, you should expect that this technology would become in use everywhere in the everyday clinic. So how about that? Excellent. Very good.